Nine times in a row now, the 49ers have lost a game. Oh my gosh, we have had this donut in the W column, so no wins, and we have a losing season now, so... Oh, man, what can I say, man? I mean, this has been a very bad season. I thought we could win at least one game, and this game, I thought we could win, but unfortunately, that did not happen, and it's really disappointing to say. I wish I could say we won the game. I wish we can celebrate like we won the Super Bowl or something, because, I mean, we, what do we have to celebrate this whole season? It's been pretty bad overall as a team, but hey... First year for Kyle Shanahan, we have to give him a break. I will give him a break this season, but next season, I don't know if I'll give him a bigger break in 2018, but this year, you know what, I'll give him a break. If they go 0-16, I would be very, very disappointed. I mean, all they have to do is just win one freaking game, and I'll be happy for the rest of the season. If they can do it against the Giants, which I'll talk about in another video, then I'll be really happy. But right now, I'm going to be going back to the Arizona Cardinals game. They lost 20-10, to very disappointing, as I said. Adrian Peterson, I did not expect him to run over this team. I mean, I had a feeling he was going to be, you know, a big pivotal point of the offense just because Carson Palmer's out for the season. Drew Stanton's not really Carson Palmer when healthy. So I was like, ah, maybe Adrian Peterson can get maybe 20 carries, but not rush for a lot of yards. Maybe the 49ers defense can kind of stop him, but he ended up rushing for more than 150 yards. It was really, really bad for the 49ers' run defense. And hopefully it's not like last year's run defense. Like, oh man, run last year. Please don't get me started with last year. It was just awful with the run. But I mean, this is really the first game that they really, really like just didn't even care about the run for the 49ers' defense. It was really bad on their part but what can you do, right? Adrian Peterson's still a beast when he's healthy and what have you, so I'll uh, give him his props. So congrats, Adrian Peterson, for having a good game, I guess. And uh, other takeaways, hmm, what else? What else besides Adrian Peterson? CJ Beathard, I mean, what can you do? Running for his life, getting sacked almost five times this game. I mean, so much pressure. I saw some website online, he had a pretty bad statistics uh, when he's on the run and when he's pressured, but I mean, that's pretty much any quarterback that has that. Well, maybe if you're Tom Brady, but other than that, almost every quarterback will have terrible statistics if they're always on the run, if they're always getting pressured because the offensive line can't do crap, but that's the whole season pretty much. I mean, the offensive line can't really say anything, and this is a need for the 49ers for 2018 because they got to do something. I don't know who's going to be on the free agent market this year yet. I haven't really checked on it, but I mean, whatever they can find, they better find because I mean, this offensive line is really, really bad and hopefully they can address that in this year's draft slash free agency or whatever uh, there is to find players and what have you. So CJ Beathard, I mean, it was a, kind of an okay game considering the fact it was bad, but other than that, I mean, uh, nothing too crazy to go special about. Carlos Hyde was the leading receiver, so it's kind of a problem when your running back's the leading receiver for your whole team and what have you. I mean, Pierre Garçon being out, that doesn't really help. I wish he was still playing, but he, unfortunately, he's hurt, so I can't really do anything about that. Marquise Goodwin, uh, he kind of had an okay game. I mean, he only had two catches for 60-plus yards, but I wish they would fly him out more and what have you. I wish they would use him more often. I mean, get, get the deep threat going, but I don't know. I mean, sometimes he's dropping balls. Sometimes C.J. Beathard's not clicking, but what can you do, right? Ugh, I can't do anything. I'm a, just a fan. I'm not a freaking coach or a player or even a coach. A coach can't do anything on the field. All you can do is just teach, and that's it, pretty much. Not play, not do anything on the field. All they can do is just watch and get tortured to see how the players are performing. So I wish the 49ers could win the game, but I can't really do anything. But the one good thing I did get was Ruben Foster. He ended up playing the whole game for the first time in his career. So congratulations. I think that deserves a big round of applause, really. I mean, seriously, I don't want Ruben Foster to be known as the guy that's too brittle, too fragile, not durable. I don't want that player that people think he's going to be, but he can't just because he's injured so hopefully he can stay healthy but it's really good to see him play his first full game and he did a pretty good job 14 tackles I don't know if tackles are the best statistics to track good players but I mean that's pretty damn good I would say I mean that's like a team high definitely and I think that shows a lot of potential of Ruben Foster what he can do in the NFL level and I really think he can do a really good job in the NFL level as a Mike linebacker so hopefully that keeps continuing if he plays against the Giants which I'm assuming he's going to be playing against the Giants so hopefully he can keep continuing and have a bye week and then uh, finish strong for the rest of the season and what have you so I mean if you can't really go for wins at least go for like performance greatness I guess you can say I mean show some progress for the next upcoming season build something get something going in order to ha have some positivity for the 2018 season it's going to be hard to do that for us Niner Nation but at the same time we have to stay as patient as possible I know everyone wants to make the playoffs everyone wants to win the Super Bowl I do too but I mean with the first year regime and just being outclassed by almost every team in the NFL this whole year 
going 0-9. I mean, we can't really expect anything anytime soon, in my opinion. And I knew this was going to be a growing pain season, but I had no idea we would be 0-9. I really did not think so. I thought we would at least win one or two games by now. Maybe beat the Colts back then. Maybe beat the Rams. Well, I guess the Rams, uh, I don't know. Back then, they were still trying to find themselves a little bit, but they are really good right now. They're actually first in the NFC West, so congratulations, Los Angeles, for being 6-2 and destroying the Giants. So hopefully, we can get some win from the Giants this Sunday, but we'll see them. That's pretty much it. I mean, the takeaways, Adrian Peterson went off. A lot of injuries on the 49ers. Can't really control that. CJ Beathard running for his life. I'm so glad we didn't start Jimmy G. Oh my gosh, if they started Jimmy G, Jimmy G would be pretty beat up on today, actually. So I kind of feel bad for CJ for having to start these games right now. But what can you do, right? So hopefully this he can get some playing time at least. I mean, that's the only positivity I can get out of this for CJ Beathard. Just playing time, seeing how NFL teams play legit. Not just preseason games, but regular season games. So that's a pretty good thing, I guess. And what else? What else? Defense, uh, they were kind of okay. Nothing too special. I mean, Drew Stanton. Uh, Eric Reed did get a pick uh, as a linebacker, so that was pretty damn cool at the uh, end zone. That was pretty nice. And Carlos Hyde did get ejected. I'm just all over this video and what have you, but when you lose and when your team is 0-9, it just doesn't feel good. No pleasure of doing anything and talking anything uh, structurally or anything just because, I mean, it hurts, man, really. I mean, I don't even play the games. I don't even coach the games. I don't do anything for the 49ers, but I talk about them, so, I mean, when you have to talk about them and when they lose this many games it's just uh it feels bad to be honest with you but what can you do right so i'm not gonna be upset as last year like chip kelly i don't know why but probably because kyle shanahan just gutted the damn roster and made a brand new roster so i guess they have to find the time for chemistry so kyle shanahan gets a lot of excuses i would say but i mean it's legit i will give him that so hopefully something can happen next sunday i'm just gonna look be looking for one game at a time i'm not gonna be looking for the future right now so uh we'll see them but anyways that's gonna be pretty much it you guys i just wanted to make this video and Oh, voice my sadness, I guess you could say. Not really frustration too much, just because, I mean, what can you expect, really? I did pick the 49ers to win this game, but I was wrong again, so I'm pretty much in a losing record in predictions. I mean, I could have predicted 0-9 easily, but I kind of went with my heart over my head, so I'm an idiot sometimes, but I'm going to keep it short, so I'll catch you guys up tomorrow when I predict the 49ers and Giants game, so I'll see y'all then. You guys have a nice day, nice weekend, I guess. Bye, guys. See y'all soon. Wow, this video is just so disorganized, but I'm just, uh... Can't do anything when you're 09, so I'll catch y'all uh, later then. Bye, guys.